Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Invites, invites all to, all to my friends all around the world. Because we're just robots in disguise. Robots in disguise. I don't know who's all going to be on right now, to be honest with you. Um, it's not that late. It's 8.30. It's on a Monday. So, what does that mean? Usually, it means it's the beginning of a work week. For some, but not all. So, I can't wait until Monday is a happy day for everyone. Happy day, happy day for everyone. Because everyone deserves a happy Monday. Monday should not be blue. It should be yellow. And bright colors everywhere. Bright colors everywhere. Bright colors everywhere. Ooh. I've been practicing. Well, I practiced my voice last night. My buddy's teaching me how to sing and combined my voice with my poetry because I don't know how to do that. Hey guys, hi Candace, hi Emily, hey Monica. I, I invited just some people, but I just wanted to talk about the new energy and I have so much going on in my head that I can only give pieces at a time. So what I've kind of... Um, well, if, if no one knows who I am, I'm Karina, I'm a lucid living coach and I'm trying to figure out like, okay, I don't know how to do live videos on my, on my desktop or my laptop yet. So I'm still doing them on my phones until I can figure out how to do that. And so bear with me. It's hard in positioning. Hey, what's up? Okay. So my name is Karina. I'm a lucid living coach and I'm I inform and channel, channel higher energies to guide and heal the collective so we can evolve past our karmic lessons and be able to step into new energy with confidence and purpose. Let's change the world one person at a time. Let's bridge the gaps between our separations. Where there is fear, there is separation, and where there is separation, there is despair, grief, and bloodshed. Let's unite, support neighbors and communities. Awareness breeds mindfulness, which breeds intelligence. Asleep means autopilot. And we all know that autopilots take us to places that we didn't really want to be sometimes. Okay, so sleep when when is needed, but be awake to make the change. Okay, so that is my little entrance. Hey, what's up, David? Nice to see you. That's my little like hook that I want to kind of like, like brand. Okay. Because this literally is just a movement. Okay. It's a movement of community togetherness and not letting the dark energies take us over anymore because I don't want to see another World War II. I don't want to see another Holocaust. I want to see like people stepping into the new world and the new energy. Literally what's going to be happening this month is a huge shift. This shift hasn't happened for the last 500 years, which was in the Renaissance times. So why don't you guys research the Renaissance and let's bridge some gaps and figure out what the hell we can do that's different that will help, help ascend us to the new world. Um, I'm listening while I'm driving. So it's like, a self-help tape. Awesome. Good. Because that's what I want. I want it to be easy and accessible. And this is why I'm just doing them live because I don't have to exert so much energy in the technical stuff that I'm not good at. Okay. So I don't know. I've spoke to a lot of my close friends about this, but I just want to see if you guys didn't know. Now, you know, okay. So I'm going to get into the more NASA type talk. Okay. And then we'll go into the energies. Um, so does everyone know that there were two 
neuron stars that were cycling each other for the last 11 billion years. And they finally collided after that long. So there's two energies. And this is what I consider the yin and the yang, the one and the two, the masculine and feminine, because we live in a dichotomy type of world, right? So neuron stars are literally so dense, they suck light in, just like a black hole. So they're actually one step below a black hole. So these two energies were like twirling around each other, just like, you know, DNA strand or whatever, because we're all connected. And it finally collided. And when it collided, I mean, this is a heavy collision, like heavy, like so dense, like, oh, it would probably be like a million pounds or something, like a little piece here. Okay. When they collided, they made this huge, like blue and red dust, like like nebula of energy and guess what it was gold and platinum oh my god okay we finally know where gold's come from okay and and um it's also the uh the what's it called einstein's um theory of relativity was uh, proven finally because you know Back in the day when Einstein was like talking his mad shit like I am and everyone's like, oh, dude's crazy. You have to have actually evidence and proof of this. Uh, so he was like chasing like solar eclipses and he thought if he can photograph the solar eclipse, then he could he could show people that it is his theory is correct. But then what happened? War got in his way. He went out there with his buddy to take this photograph of of the solar eclipse so he can prove this theory to enlighten everyone and to move us forward into the future. And then there was a war going on and he was in a war zone. He was like, well, fuck, I don't want to get, I don't want to get messed up. So he kind of dropped the whole thing, but we've all still believed his theory, but it just was proven literally this year. And that's exciting. That opens a whole new world up for astrophysicists and shit, we'll probably be time traveling soon. Okay. Like I'm super juiced about that. And, um, that's why I'm super juiced. Okay. Because that's pretty amazing. So let me just read what I have and I might repeat myself, but I don't want to lose my place. Being live is really like nerve wracking. Okay. So, okay. So this collision actually happened 130 million years ago that's a long time but but like time and space is is relative right to the observer and the speed of light and all this crazy cool stuff right so it actually entered into uh earth its magnetic field on august 17th I was in Tahoe. I actually did a video that day and I was about to drive to Idaho to go see the eclipse. Literally the eclipse was the 21st and that was the huge, um, Leo solar eclipse. Okay. And, um, and Leo's ruled by the sun. So the sun is the light in it and it, and it's how we get to see everything. Um, so going back to my little notes, the two neuron stars slammed together about 130 million years ago from earth but the ripples of this exploded and traveled to earth the gamma ray burst from the sky gravitational waves were found and x-rays and all these really cool things and a lot of it was found in the southern sky by chile okay so 11 hours after gra after the gravitational waves were detected by the astronomers and their little machines were like, woo, 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 woo. there's something going on. There's something crazy. There's something going on. They saw the, the, the neuron stars blemish fade, um, to, to from blue to red and then platinum and gold nebula. So that's pretty amazing. So this is a huge missing link that is finally, um, connected. Okay. So. The theory that I built onto this is because I need proof because otherwise I'm just like Einstein. I'm just being a fucking crazy loony, loony doony. And I will continue be to do like my research. But the theory that I have said is that 
because of the, the time space continuum and like how light and speed and all that stuff works, it's slowly but surely the energy has been seeping into our minds and bodies, right? Because it went from one celestial body in space to another, which it went through a black hole, right? That energy was sucked in and spit out onto us, okay? And they, like the, the little meter things, um, detected that August 17th of this year. And I believe that on December 3rd, the night of the 2nd, that was Sunday and Saturday, okay, just like a weekend or uh, ago or something. I can't really tell time anymore. But that's when that was the full moon in Gemini. And it was also with the full moon, that means that the moon the moon here, the moon and the sun are opposing each other. So it makes a T. Well, this is called a T square because Neptune was at its feet. That rules illusions, delusions. That rules media. It rules pretty much like, like the fantasy world that we've all been living in since we were kids. Okay. So that's at the feet. And then Mercury, the ruling planet of communication, was closest to Earth. So we were getting all these massive downloads. And I believe that that energy from those stars were goddess energy. So it dropped down, and now it's seeping into our mind and our body this last month. And we're in a fucus season, okay? So a fucus is not in the astrological zodiac wheel, but it is in mine because I believe that it is where we came from. So a fucus and Orion oppose each other. A fucus is the serpent bearer. Orion is the the god of like, or I guess the god of like, you know, he has a sword and stuff. He's a warrior, right? So it's the physical world versus the three-dimensional world versus like the five-dimensional world. And what had happened was I believe that these neuron stars came from Orion's belt, which is the three the, from the pyramids, right? So it's like God returning. And and then where they found this energy was in um, a part of space, like right below the constellation Leo. And it seemed to be right in the middle where I believe that there was this wormhole or this black hole that like shot it down into us and on us. Okay, so we're now feeling these energies because Orion and Ephucus is where we came from. That's our home. I mean, they've been trying to tell us this for so long, but we've been ignoring it because of division and separation in, in, in the Bible and astrology because they're two different worlds but they're the same world, if you get what I'm saying. So the Bible is God-made and human-made, right? Just like God works through me and you. I don't get all this information just from nowhere, right? So I have to get it from somewhere. And astrology is also man-made and God-made, right? Because we look up at the planets that were made by the energy of God or the goddess energy or whatever you want to call it. So these two, but the one thing that we see in the sky, it's called our galaxy, and it's called stars and planets, and that is made by God. That is a part of God. So that's where I bridge the gaps in the two worlds. Like, we need to stop fighting over the same fucking thing. I think it's ridiculous, okay? I was raised Christian, I studied astrology, and I have a psychology degree. So I know about human behavior. It's, it's, Okay, so there's something called cognitive dissonance that happens with our human brains that we have known a certain truth for so long that when it's even proven to be not true, we 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 have a hard time accepting it. And we want to things to be consistent and we want things to make sense. But that's not how our universe works. There's always room for error in humans, just like there's 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 you know, random chaos in the universe. So well, okay. So as far as like the world going on right now, I don't really have a TV. I don't really know what's going on, but I know a lot of people are hating on on Trump. Okay. And I I don't believe that hate gets us anywhere. I think that coming together for change and coming together as a community and like kind of like keep your little eye on him or 
on the government because really he's just he's just the front man right if this is his first time at a job like i remember when i first started a job that i never had any experience in and i hate to even bring up politics because i'm not a political person but i just want to shed some light on something that i see someone was calling me interference interference but i just know like when i was a when I was like, I was probably like 19 and I wanted to work for an accountant and I was in the interview and you know, he was like, well, you know, why should I hire you? I have no experience. And, and the other lady has hell of experience. And I was like, well, to be honest with you, I have nothing or bad habits or anything that I'm going to be carrying over. Like literally you're training me. I don't know my ass from my elbow in this business. So um, you could just train me however you want me to do things your way and not another boss's way. And he was like, you're, 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 uh, you're hired or whatever. Right. Super juiced. Okay. Well, I kind of see that in our president as well. I mean, he's never been in the government. He's never been in politics or anything. And he's just like the front man. And like, there's these energies and I'm not saying he's pure all good light because we're we all carry both energies but I'm just saying that he could be just really like naive in the whole fact of what's really going on and how he's being used for the for segregation and separation of like people and you know it's like sometimes when people are doing like really bad and they have experience and they know that um that they're not doing like like the good, they're more like, you know, greedy or, you know, power seeking or something. They're, they, they don't want to be seen, right? They're going to hide. They don't, they don't want anyone to see them. And so they're going to use someone that's like kind of not the smartest person in the position or the, the job and use them because who's going to get assassinated or hated or shot? Well, it's the face of the the, the person that's the, mm, the one like speaking, he's always been the middleman. You know, he was a, he was a blue collar worker. He's a builder. His dad did construction. And then he got into the whole thing, you know, with like, you know, real estate and building. And then, you know, all that, all that jazz with the, with the, you know, being a gangsta, you know, the go between and, you know, the people that were, you know, that really had a lot of the real estate, you know, he, he's an, he's a middleman. That's all I have to say. And, um, you know, he's not, he's not all good and he's not all evil. So we need to like realize that that is just something that's that distracting people from coming together and it's still installing fear and separation. So that's all I want to say. Okay. About that. Um, but this new energy, what's this? Hey, what's up, Fuji? When you're eating salty Pringles and your dingleberry jungle juice diarrhea, you've been hanging out with babies too long, mister. That's all you got on your mind is changing diapers and eating salty Pringles. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just on a little rampage with all the energy that's been going on. And, you know, I have a lot of people reaching out and I want to make sure that people know that this energy is not good or bad and you shouldn't fear it. It's just dichotomy in the universe. So if we have all this gold and platinum and goddess type energy dropping in, it needs to counterbalance it with another energy because there's dichotomy in the universe. Look it up. If you don't know what that word is, look it up, okay? And... So this balance needs to be happening, right? So you're going to have, uh, uh, I was I was calling it thing one and thing two. It could be the masculine and feminine because it's also affecting us in that kind of way, right? So if you have all this energy coming in that's thing one, then a thing two needs to come and counterbalance it because, the, you know, we live in that kind of universe, right? There's symmetry and... In that, we're getting a little confused because there's been some truths that were being revealed. There were, you know, lies coming out. And sometimes the things that we actually, like, like thought about someone or something or, or an energy, 
uh, that we've held true for so long and it's and all of a sudden it's not what it is we want that consistency we we it, it's so confusing hey hey when you drink a shot of crown and your pants are wet and brown are you drunk fooge Oh, uh, you're always the comic relief and I love that. But um this is serious talk, you know. I think we've we've hid in our our li own little worlds for long enough. We need to see the truth to make the change happen. And that's all I'm saying is like, you know, it's great to put on the Christmas tree and and like everything and da 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 da, da but this is a huge transformational part in in the energy as far as like this time like Sagittarius okay so Sagitt is the feminine a fucus is in the middle and Tarius is God's gift so literally we're in the trans transformation this is the cocoon okay so before a butterfly gets its wings and flies away it's in a in a really dark black hole called a cocoon it's not bad I, I, like everyone's raised with, oh, dark is bad because we we're brainwashed, you know, and like this is bad and like witches are bad and like darkness is bad. No, it just is. You need that. I mean, the brightest light cast the biggest shadow. So we need to understand that the more you shine your light, the more there's going to be energies to counterbalance that light. OK, so keep shining your light. Even if that you're you're getting resistance or you start getting fearful or whatever, just own your truth, know your truth, and stick with your truth because that's how we're going to make change, okay? And let me go back to my notes because I know it got a little off. Okay, so, oh yeah, so I'll go back to my notes. And I might repeat myself like I always said. So this could explain like this dropping of new energy from the two um, neuron stars. It can explain all the massive awakenings and truth that's being revealed. And with that comes its opposing energy as well to trip us up. So there is a balance and a dichotomy in the universe. And this is why um, I speculate the confusion and the all over the place energy. Because our ego has thought of something to be true for so long and it's hard to it's a hard, it's hard accepting when things have been proven not true. And in psychology, it's called cognitive dissonance. And you can look that up if you don't know what that is. It's on YouTube. You can look up YouTube videos. I paid a lot of money <laughs> for my college degree to learn that. But now all this education is accessed for free on the internet. So let my debt be your gift. Okay. So this is why I've expressed on my videos to keep your eyes open to with all these energies that are coming into our awareness because people house energies. Our bodies are literally just an extension of our house and our home. So that's why I do house cleaning for so long because I want people's houses to be clean. And once those houses are clean, then the internal houses could be clean. And now that's my new world work. So my old world was cleaning houses and I'm going to keep that, right? But my new world is the spiritual work and all my education and that is for free because the new world doesn't exchange real money. It's energy. We're exchanging energy for energy so everyone has an opportunity for abundance and love and everything that you know, it's like money is just so stupid because, um, because it's just, it just gets in a way of like equality and it separates people in categories. And, um, I've always bartered and I love it. So if you have any services that you'd like to offer me and I'm offering, I could offer it to you. I do house cleaning and I make organic skincare and I do art and I write poetry and I do astrology charts and therapy and coaching. So if you need an accountability partner, all that, all the, like all the lucid living movement stuff that I do, the coaching and astrology and the therapy and just like using my love and light to help heal, all that stuff is just bartered trade um, and donation base. And I haven't got my donation base link hooked up yet because I don't know how to do that stuff. But I'm learning. So 
What else did I want to say? Peep, 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 peep. These energies are, oh yeah, these energies are not good and bad. I already said that. They just are. So we have a choice. We have a choice of what energy that we want to focus on. And this is great because the new world and the new energy that we've just got, like, like to touch really is the power of thought, the power of prayer, the power of manifestation, like everything that you think you could have. Okay. So that's, what's a cool thing about this is we have more control, but if you start thinking like negatively or like you're, you're, you're letting fear get the better end of you, that's what you're going to see. So that's why you have to be strong in your faith and strong in your knowing and strong at what you want and where you're heading and every everything else will just follow through. I mean, we're all evolving. This is just where I am today, okay? We are always changing and evolving. That's just a part of life, okay? I'm be, I might next week all of a sudden discover something else and that'll be another contribute. So I'm just giving you information like information that I've had like defragging defragging my drive and giving it to you and you guys take what you want, leave what you don't and build on it. Build cuz we all got to be connected because we don't like separation cuz separation is bad because we're all one. We're all one. We're all a part of God. And I'm going to do a webinar because everything still has missing links. I can't explain everything. I have pages of research. Okay. North, south, east, west, zodiac, energy, pyramids. And uh, I'd be crazy, but I'd be a seeking knowledge. That's what I'd be doing. I seek in knowledge. And so should you seek knowledge because knowledge is power and understanding. And then when you have power, you don't have fear because you know how strong you are. Doesn't mean that you're not going to have people or energies come up against you in any way. I'm prepared. It's okay. You don't have to take anything that I say if it doesn't fit into your world of your higher self, your higher self. You're seeking cheesecake. Wow, we're full of a bunch of jokesters today now, aren't we? It's because it's Monday and it's okay. One day we'll all be happy that it's Monday because it won't matter because we're just gonna all be doing God's work and getting paid in energy because that's the new world. So we just have to bridge the gaps. When you feel a heavy load in your ass, it's going to explode. That's a pretty good play on words, Fuge. I'm proud. I know you're a smart guy because you're a Libra. And that's the dichotomy. That's the balance between the masculine and feminine. Oh, yeah. I want to talk a little bit about that. So because of this new goddess feminine energy, it's literally like waking the masculine up and it's turning the feminine up. So feminine you know, is really just the nurturing mother. You know, I believe that women or feminine, you know, feminine. Okay, so this is where people always get tripped up. Feminine is an energy. Masculine is an energy. A male is a man in the physical and a woman is a woman, a female, right? A female in the three-dimensional reality. Now, when I talk masculine and feminine, that is a, a five-dimensional or another plane energy, right? So, so I could have a male energy and a female energy. Another person, another female in the three-dimensional could have a feminine energy. Another woman in the three-dimensional world can have a masculine energy, okay? This is how energies work. So, when I say that the goddess feminine energy has come down does not mean it's a female energy, okay? It's just another opposing energy. There are three combinations, three pyramids, three stars on Orion's belt. That's the masculine, the feminine, and the twin flames. The twin flames both have the masculine and feminine, okay? Those are the ones that 
have to work together, okay? So they're a little bit of both. It's kind of a more challenging type of energy, but it's rewarding because you guys are feeding each other what you guys lack or vice versa, right? So I'm feeling that I believe that the feminine energy um, has to support the masculine energy to regain its footing in the masculine energy. And the men or the masculine, it's always that. I know I get confused because it's something I have to continually train my brain. Okay, so the masculine energy should be waking up to help support the feminine energy in that. So what I have seen is a massive amount of, and I'm going to drop down to the three-dimensional world real quick. So it's really layman's term and easy. So, cause I'm like trying to interpret uh, spiritual lingo with three-dimensional lingo. So, um, so let's just say women have been kicking butt, right? They've been kicking up butt in the corporate world because that's what we're told that we're supposed to do. And that's what, um, that's what uh, makes us successful, right? Back in the 50s or back when my grandparents were younger, um, you were a kick-ass woman if you stayed home with the kids and you were a good cook and you were always there for your husband when he got home, right? So this is a feminine type energy, okay? Now the masculine energy, um, they were, back in the days, they were kick-ass if they were climbing the corporate ladder, they were working, they were providing for their families, right? So it's actually the opposite. Um, and the, and the women, uh, and the, uh, and then now the men were kick ass men's if they were, you know, family oriented. And, you know, if you see a guy carrying around a baby, you're like, damn, like, yes, that's so hot. Like carry around that baby on your, on your stomach and stuff like that. So yes, the roles have reversed. Now they're reversing back. That's what I believe. So if for that to happen, the women have to support or the feminine energy, whatever that might be, because you might be bi, you might be gay, who, who knows? So it's the energy. So the feminine energy needs to support the masculine energy to regain his manlyhood in some way way shape or form and I'm not saying going out to work a corporate job or whatever like that I'm saying like build a fire okay men build a fire women cook nurture and feed your man good masculine feminine it could be whatever sex in the three-dimensional reality because it doesn't matter so that's what is awakening so support each other men or masculine support the women that to be like, oh, you know what? Here, let me help out, you know, financially, or let me help out with the the work around the house. Because literally, I I feel like the feminine energy has been carrying a load, a too a too big of a load. And it's not it's not every every energy and every relationship. It's subjective, but it's just something that I noticed in a lot of of broken homes or homes uh, that have these. Uh, reversals and that's fine in the three-dimensional world it's fine it's the five-dimensional world where it's changed okay so it's just supporting uh, uh, supporting this evolution of men regaining uh, or masculine regaining their masculine feminine regaining their feminine because that's what they're good at you know and working together on like bridging the gaps and creating uh, you know, unity and, and family and, um, love within that and not being separate and not fighting, just harmony and getting along. I need some rich chick to knock me up. You need it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is just an evolution, just stuff that I've noticed. And it's just my, it's just my eyes. And that's all I see is my perspective and what I've been through. I come from a broken family, you know? So I, I was raised by my mom and my grandparents, uh, and you know, partially my stepdad. And so 
I just, I just feel like it's so important to, to have like harmony between people. I mean, even if you, you had a kid together and you guys, you know, it's not working out for some reason between you two, then at least be harmonious and friends so you can set a good example for your future, your future kids to show them how, because modeling is the best way that people learn through modeling, through you doing what you got to do to show them. So I don't know. It's like, if you want more love in the world, you got to give more love. If you want more hugs, you better give more hugs. Hugs and loves. This is a really long video, but I thought it was necessary. It's just been a lot of things that been on my mind and a lot of people reaching out having, you know, from the December 2nd and 3rd that weekend just really struggling with these aggressive energies. So they've subsided. Thank God they've subsided. And now we're, you know, kind of thinking of, you know, rethinking a lot of stuff in our life. And it's a good time to rethink and reanalyze. And then uh, a fucus will be out of a fucus into God's gift on, let me look it up real quick. I think it's the 22nd. Uh, the sun enters uh, the last part of Sagittarius on the 18th. <gasps> oh my God, what's today? The 11th. Oh good, so we're almost out of the cocoon, guys. <gasps> Just wait, I can't wait. The 18th, it's gonna be God's gift. What is it? I don't know, it's a fucking gift. Open it. I don't know what it is. What's in there? I don't know. Open it. <laughs> Yeah, we need to accept humanity. Exactly. There's ebbs and flows. There's ups and downs. There's rights and lefts. And we're all expanding the universe. That's what happened. Here's time. Here's the time continuum. And uh, and uh, what what what's this? Is this time in what speed or? Yeah, the speed. And you got a car going here. And it's like, oh, you know, one hour, two hour, three hour. And then the car starts going up. Now, when it's going faster and it's not going parallel, it's going towards space. What happens? The time slows down. So, yeah. Open that shit. Open that, that box. Hey, the box is on Justice League, too. Remember those three boxes? <gasps> oh, and it, what did it take? Water and lightning. Fire. And the lightning was from Uranus, which is is the future. So the only thing that we're going to be able to break the code and tap into this new world through this black hole is through uh, the world and healing the world through water and fire. Spoilers, you didn't see the movie yet? Man, I've been pushing that movie because it's so insightful. Even though some people don't like DC Comics, I know there's a war between everywhere. Even comics. Could you believe that? I'm glad I just float in the middle of everything because I don't know how to do that. I've never really liked just one color either growing up. I always liked multiple colors and they always changed. But I've always loved purple. Yeah. All right, guys. Love you. Peace out. And make sure to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe so you can get my updated videos. Even when I'm not on Facebook, I do videos, videos. And subscribe to my channel. And like and share and spread God's love and light and love and love and community and family and happy, happy, happy. Aw, thanks for the likey dykes. The likes, the likes, the likes are on fire. Oh, 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 no, don't let it burn. Just let it burn. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, yeah, here's my candles from Three Sisters. So pretty. It's green and gold, just like what's happening. The heart chakra and the gold from the gods. Okay, love you.
Nah, I don't know how to turn this off. Okay. What's this? What's this? <gasps> meow, meow! Uh-oh, Lilith, run Lilith is running over. Well, oh yeah, she's Mrs. Miyagi now. She graduated. Kitty, kitty, meow, meow! Kitty, kitty, meow, meow! It's a kitty, 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 meow. It only works on my face, though. She's already a cat, so she doesn't need a mask. All right. Peace and love if I could log out. I'm still trying to figure it out. Oh, there it is.